Okay, so I'm in the studio today making these coaster puzzles and uh, the reason I wanted to uh, make the video, I wanted to show everybody the uh, routing technique that I use in order to speed uh, production up in order to make the, the coaster puzzles work. Um, it takes a long time to hand sand everything and there is not uh, there's not always enough time to do that. So what I've done, I've set up the Bosch router in such a way that uh, that I can uh, chamfer these little guys uh, in, a, in a fast way. So that's the completed puzzle. Um, the puzzle is uh, inlaid uh, smoke colored resin on uh, solid cherry. Um, I'm not sure if you can see that um, on my phone, but that's a shot of the inlay. So um, after these are cut, they're, uh, they're very hard edged. They're, they're um, not fun to hold. So here's the Bosch router. And um, this is a special fence I made for it, which is very simple. And the reason I made it is it just makes life incredibly safe. Um, that's the chamfer bit, and I can barely, I, I can't even really touch it with my finger. Uh, if I reach under there and uh, turn, turn the bit, you can see it turning right there. Uh, so it's a large chamfer bit, but uh, very, uh, hardly any of it is peeking through what uh, my friend calls that peekaboo window. Um, similar to this, this, this is a similar uh, router fence made of plexi. Uh, underneath it you can see I, I bored out a fairly large hole uh, so that the router can float freely inside there. But when the router uh, bit is coming up through that hole, you, uh, you want it to be able to spin freely and not touch the fence. And uh, you can adjust it two ways by raising or lowering the router. Uh, underneath the table or you can simply uh, move your fence back and forth uh, sliding it towards you and away from you. Uh, I use masking tape or magic marker to make these very very fine lines so that when you move it backwards and forwards you keep track of that. Um, I'm going to do this one handed so it won't be as skilled as usual but uh, I'm going to route all uh, four sides four sides and then I'm going to route off the uh, sharp edges too because straight from the table saw um, they're kind of unpleasant pretend that you can see this, but uh, what I've done is I've created a, a, a 30 second, somewhere between a 30 second and a 16th inch bevel on every edge, and it's just made them softer, easier to hold. Um, as I said, can't even touch that with my thumb, so it's a very safe way to go. Um, the reason I make those two passes, you may have seen I make a a forward pass, which is an, an, an anti-climb pass, a standard pass, and then I make a backwards pass. Uh, the reason I do that is because uh, uh, it's proven that the uh, what is called climb cutting is going to leave a smoother finish. Um, climb cutting is, however, dangerous, produces kickback, it's unpredictable, 
So the the first pass will be um, the first pass with moderate pressure is the standard pass. Then I increase the pressure, bring it backwards, and it becomes a climb cut. So it removes 95% of the material on the standard, and then I apply a little more pressure and bring it back. And what happens is my end grain is uh, really pretty smooth. So. Thank you for watching. Uh, that's the Bosch router table with a standard, uh, I believe, number 1617 EVS tool underneath it. Um, I'm not thrilled about this table. It was a gift, but I've uh, modified it in a couple of ways over the years, and it's functioning pretty well. Uh, I am very happy with the Bosch power plant that is underneath it, which I think is the 1617 uh, EVS. And uh, these are the coaster sets. They'll get uh, one or two coats of tongue oil. You can see some beautiful color pictures of these on uh, uh, noblegoods.com, www.noblegoods.com, N-O-B-L-A-G-O-O-D-S.com. Thank you very much. Take care.